So um, I want to go back to local issues a little bit because it still is in the uh, the national news. Um, most out of that protest uh, two wins two Wednesdays ago or uh, last week or week before last, sorry. Um, there's nine arrests and five cop watchers arrested. Everyone's been no complaining except uh, I guess James and I won the lottery. Yeah. Everyone's been no complaining except James and I, so we has, we still have arraignments. But um, Sarah Long was one of the original people that was pushed out of City Hall uh, by by the mayor's goons, and she was actually shoved down twice on onto the concrete and then once out of the doors leading out of City Hall. And I have an interview of hers I'd like to play on air because Sarah did it. Sarah Long of Film the Police Tour at Portland did a really good job. She was being interviewed by uh, Coin6 and uh, uh, Fox 12's news folks. And I'd like to just play that on the air because Sarah did a such an awesome job of uh, speaking for herself. If I can find that. Where is it? I thought I had it on my uh, desktop. I'll find it in a minute. So, James. You there, James? Oh, I wanted to ask you also, um, do you, what, are you feeling targeted at this point? I mean, how many arrests uh, at, at protest in, you know, recently? What is it, three? Oh, it's two. Yeah, only two. But, two I mean, recently. it's, Last, the last two protests I've gone to, I've been targeted and arrested for nothing, essentially. Like, standing on sidewalks is against the law in Portland, Oregon, if you're a cop watcher. Yeah. I, I remember from your arrest video, the um, the earlier Black Lives Matter, not the last one, but the one before last, where the police are, the, they're trying to put cuffs on you and they're trying to figure out how to get, you know, get your armor off. Because James wears this uh, German police riot gear. It's like corrugated steel. If you're out there on the interweb and you're wondering, he wears this uh, corrugated steel uh, German police riot gear that's uh, basically fire retardant and puncher resistant. I, I love it. I I actually uh, uh, traded it to James. But uh, when they're taking, uh, they knew exactly who you were, and that's and how we know they knew exactly who you were is because they 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 said, oh, you have a concealed carry permit. Uh, do you have you know? Do, do you have a weapon on you? You know, so so they they admit to targeting you. You know, like yeah, he, he, I actually I've recently figured out that the uh, the officer who initiated contact, the guy, the sergeant that grabbed me from behind and pulled me into the street, actually works for the uh, the precinct that I have been writing articles bashing. Uh, I've he works at East Precinct in Portland, Oregon. I figured that out actually like just a couple days ago, um, and I in. In weeks previous to that, my first arrest, I had been I had written two articles uh, directly calling out uh, East Precinct for the the thuggery and their uh, waving their gang color uh, Blue Lives Matter flags and uh, ribbons in front of their precinct. Oh yeah, that malignant mm-hmm. thing. So, <laughs> so it's it's entirely punitive. Like they they definitely targeted me, and it's it's like you said they they asked me if I was carrying. Like minutes, within minutes of me being like within five minutes of them initiating contact and pulling me across the street, I had given them no information about myself, none right. whatsoever. So and they they, they, had all, they had to have known all of these things before right. they had initiated contact. Right. That was your. Uh, if memory serves, that's the first time you've ever been arrested, right? Yes. So the first time you've ever been arrested, be, uh, minutes before your arrest, pe- police are saying, you have a concealed carry permit. So I want to know how the F they knew that without conducting an investigation. Oh, wait a minute. I'm reasonably sure that that's against the uh, law in the state of Oregon for them to investigate someone you know, uh, preemptively without some sort of reasonable, articulable suspicion that they've committed a crime. So uh, that's something we need to talk to our lawyer about, James. <laughs> Yeah, actually, he actually pointed that out that uh, because I have not because I've never been arrested and they had nothing on me, potentially uh, that is a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. Uh, to, yeah. Without being, what is it? I have the right to not be searched, and that includes right. the databases that they hold and th- right. that I am on. 
Yeah, they, they consider the databases uh, in Oregon as your papers, persons, and effects, you know, at, at, as described in the Fourth Amendment. Well, I found uh, uh, Sarah's uh, interview, so I'd like to play that. This is uh, the audio of Sarah Long of Film the Police Portland's interview where uh, she was being no complainted by corporate news. And we always record a, another good tactic that you want to use if you're out there in the interweb or listening to this on the airwaves and you want to do what we do anytime, and I mean anytime you are interviewed by corporate media, always record it yourself because they're only going to use a sound bite. They're going to use 15 seconds if you're lucky. So always record the full interview that you have with corporate media. That way you can, you can produce it and share it with the interweb later. So without further ado, this is Sarah Long talking to corporate media. Are you guys' cameras running? Talk to us. Sure. This is the third false arrest that I've beaten in three months. Step right up, please. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can look at me. Do you want me to hold your mic? Oh, that'd be great. Thank okay, you very we'll do much. this. Make sure we hear you right. Okay. Um, Sarah Beth, real quick, if you could just start with your first and your last name, how you spell that for us? Sarah, S A R A, long L O N G. Okay, and so how do you feel? How do I feel? I'm, I feel like ever since I got into police accountability activism, I'm part of a grind. Uh, we get pepper sprayed, we get false arre arrested under, you know, for false reasons, and then they drop the charges. And that's happened to me three, three times in three months now. You walked up to the window to check in, they dropped your charges. They let us know they were what's called no complaining. No complainted is what we were. Uh, it's a verb. And it means they're not filing charges against us, but they have up to one year to do so. That also happened to me in Standing Rock, North Dakota, just a few weeks ago. So Surprised at all? Not in the slightest. But this is going to happen again. Okay, I'll be seeing you guys again. Um, just, you know... Try to report in a way that expresses what we're really doing. We're not just fighting the power for the sake of fighting the power. We're not a bunch of teenagers just messing around, you know. it's uh, We are genuinely trying to fix a genuine problem that exists in society, and that is the over-militarization and lack of accountability in our police forces, who we should be able to rely upon above all things, and we can't right now. Absolutely. Uh, we know that there's a protest tomorrow. Yep. We don't know the route. We don't know what's going to take place. Will you be a part of it? Are you Honestly, I need to head back to the Mississippi River in Iowa where we're protesting that pipeline. Uh, I dropped in here for this because I've been part. I've been abused by Portland police. I've been part of the activism here, and so I needed to come in for that, that, this, but I need to get back out there. So I personally probably won't be part of it, but my friends will. What's your message to police? Guys, your union is going to push us over the edge here, okay? You need, the, the police union needs to recognize for itself that it being in the interest of its employees uh, means, you know, having better standards that are more accountable to the public. So. What, what's your message to the folks, the, the thousands and thousands of viewers that were watching yesterday on live TV, what was happening down in front of City Hall? What's your message to them? Look into why the Black Lives Matter movement exists. Look into the cases. Look at, you know, don't, don't allow people to rewrite history, you know, in which brutality was uh, committed against people of color and say, you know, well, they deserved it. Or, you know, don't let that implicit bias steal your actual logic. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Any questions for you guys? Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.